details about the suspect that left an Udawa hairdresser dead in his front yard earlier this month. Good evening, I'm Abby Kirk. Aaron Cooper breaks down the new developments in the investigation, including the reactions of who lives right next door to where the murder happened. Aaron. Abby, Sunel Durakovic was arrested last night by Hamilton County detectives after reviewing extensive amounts of security footage, a crime that the Sheriff's Department is calling a possible, quote, domestic issue. No matter who you ask in the Horseshoe Bend neighborhood. Very quiet. It's an extremely quiet neighborhood. Their description. Very quiet neighborhood. Is the same, which made the horrific murder of Udawa hairdresser Patrick Godwin on January 7th unthinkable for his neighbors. It was very shocking and very surprising that it happened this on this street. Friday night, Hamilton County Sheriff's Office detectives arrested Sunel Durakovic for Godwin's murder. Court documents say Godwin's co-worker at T Salon told her boyfriend, Durakovic, that Godwin had slapped her on the butt with a towel and made uncomfortable advances toward her. Although neighbor Tony Rose admits he didn't know Godwin well. Like I said, I didn't know anything negative about him. He says the claim surprised him. Sheriff's Office investigators believe Durakovic followed Godwin home from the salon the night after Godwin's co-worker told him this information. There's a possibility it was a domestic issue. Security cameras reportedly tracked Durakovic's car between leaving the salon with Godwin's co-worker to observing his car following Godwin's car on the road. They were here until after midnight going through our surveillance videos. Angel Snyder's home security footage was one set of evidence detectives used to track Durakovic's car. This was a senseless crime. This should have never happened. Snyder's concern now turns to Godwin. Patrick is not here to defend himself. And his family. They need our support and our prayers more than anything, probably more than, more than they've ever needed in their lives. I went by the Godwin family house today to see how they were doing and to see how they felt about the fact a suspect had been apprehended. An extended family member told me the family was very happy to know a potential culprit had been identified. We also reached out to the salon's owner for any insight they may have. They told us they were not ready to speak with us yet. Abby. Okay, Aaron, thank you. Durakovic is set to appear in court on January 30th. His bail is set at $200,000.